all our lives have been affected by coronavirus in one way or the other. 99% of the news on television or on internet is on coronavirus or the measures taken by the various governments on a daily basis. COVID-19 has done so much bad for us. More than 1 million people across the globe have been tested positive and caused more than 50,000 deaths. Billions of people are locked down in their homes. Jobs are being lost and global economy is on the verge of another recession. This is all bad news. But, 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 this video is not about the negatives. Instead, this video is about the positives. In this video, I'll tell you five positive side effects and points about COVID-19 pandemic. By this, I'm not trying to support the damage done by it, but I'm just trying to count our blessings and give some positive vibes to you all. Okay, starting with the first point, pollution, which is one of the biggest problems of human beings as it kills us slowly every second with every breath. In many parts of countries like India and China, where the population is way too high, the pollution is always above hazardous level. But because of the lockdown, the environmental conditions are improving drastically. After a long time, as non-essential factories are temporarily closed, flights are grounded and traffic is very minimal, blue sky is visible in Delhi. In this report published on CNN.com, you can clearly see a drastic difference in the visibility. Also, as per the air quality index, the air which used to be worse than hazardous is now moderate all around Delhi. And hopefully, as we enter into the second and the third week of the lockdown, the air quality will move to the good criteria. Similarly, in China, satellite images show that because of the lockdown, the air pollution has decreased dramatically. Similar trend was noticed in Italy as well. Okay, the second point is actually about the counts or the statistics of COVID-19 disease. While we keep focusing on the number of people infected and the number of increasing deaths every day, for a moment it will feel good if you focus on the number of people that have recovered until now. The mortality rate of coronavirus is about 4%. In China, where all of it started, out of around 82,000 people infected, more than 76,000 people have already recovered. If I talk of the number across the globe, more than 2.100 thousand people have already recovered. That is a big number. And as the time passes by, this number will also grow. I hope it grows exponentially. Talking of Canada, in the province of British Columbia, close to 60% of COVID-19 patients have already recovered and this rate is improving every day. This gives us some hope, isn't it? All right, talking of the third point, of course, because of the lockdown, everybody is sitting at home with a very minimal traffic on roads. It is obvious that the number of road accidents would also be low. According to Times of India report, in 2018, 1.51 lakh people lost their lives in India in road accidents. That comes out to be around 415 deaths every day. Quite a scary number. With that rate, in 21 days, around 8,700 people would have lost their lives. Even if some of these accidents might still be happening, but it would not be wrong to quote that around 7,000 to 8,000 lives will be saved in these 21 days of lockdown and that is a number just in India. Also, because everyone is in home, the crime rate has also gone down. This is a report from Washington Post confirming the crime rate plummeting in New York in the last few weeks. Okay, point number four. This pandemic phase has made many of us feel and express gratitude for those people who are working these days to make our life easier. Healthcare professionals, police, grocery store workers, sanitization workers are just some examples and those all are applauded in many parts of the world every day. In UK, every evening the residents applaud them to thank them and to boost their morale. In many parts of India, people have seen a completely different phase of police when they distribute food packets to the needy people. A video went viral when in Punjab, a sanitization worker was greeted with flower and garlands. They would have never expected such a respect. This change was necessary. 
Okay, number five. It is about your family and you. Do you remember when was the last time when you got to spend such a long time with your family and loved ones? If you're in India, probably you would get maximum number of holidays around Diwali and that holidays would last from two to five days. If you're in any Western country, you would get around 10 to 15 days vacation around Christmas or New Year. But with this lockdown, we got full three weeks to spend with our family and it may increase. While you cannot go out, enjoy it, cherish these moments. Maybe we can get creative, do something that interests us. We have been giving this excuse every now and then that we don't have time. Now, for once, when we have time, then why don't we utilize it to do what we wanted to do always? It is said that we can form a habit in 21 days. Then why not form a good habit that will last forever? Anyways, these were the few points that I thought were positive about this current situation. If you can think of any other point, please let me know by putting your comment down in the comment section below. By no means I wanted to give an argument in support of such horrific conditions. But this video was just a try to show you the brighter side of this pandemic movie. I know we all will fight back with the situation and come out even stronger. Stay home, stay safe. And also, if you haven't subscribed this channel yet, please click the subscribe button before jumping on to the next video. Thanks again.